Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a recreation um, of a makeup look that a makeup artist did. And for today's makeup artist, it's going to be Patrick Ta. And I'll show you. I love this um, makeup look. Oh, I love this look. And it's perfect because I'm going to challenge myself to do um, some sort of like makeup that was done for like a skin tone that's not the same as mine. And eye color, hair color, because I want to see if I can achieve that. Now, I am more on a warmer um, tone, have more of a yellow undertone than the model. This is the picture that I'm telling you guys about. It's just uh, gorgeous. It's beautiful, the eye makeup, the lips. Um, if you know me personally, you know that I don't wear pink often, so I want to challenge myself to kind of like step out of my comfort zone. So basically, as you can see on the picture, she's a very glowy and she has some sort of like pinky, just like a pink eye, like a pink eye, like a blush, kind of like monochrome, a lot of pinks, but the lips is a little bit more on the focus. And I want to achieve that. Now again, the model have light hair, have blue eyes, is more on the cooler side. Um, so she's a complete different skin tone than mine and I want to show you that even if you are a Morena girl, if uh, Morena means like tan skin in the Philippines, I'm not sure if the same for everybody else but most of the time Spanish and Filipinos have the same word but different meanings. So I don't have my foundation in because I want to show you how to kind of like achieve uh, that foundation or that glowy skin. So my skin has been so dry, it's getting so much better. I went back to my old skincare routine and I can see a huge difference. My skin has gotten better, it's a little bit just drier here and everything else is scarring. And for today's primer, because we want to achieve that glow. Now again, they did this makeup for a photo shoot, I want to say just for a photo shoot so usually with shoots because i used to do it you don't have to use the most long wearing makeup because it will last for just like about an hour to like three hours tops um if it's kind of like an editorial shoot sometimes it lasts longer but uh with it, when there's not much of like outfit change and all of that it's very very quick um so you don't really have to have it long wearing so for me, I'm oily skin. So if I want to wear this out, I have to be really, really careful with um, how I do my skin, my prep, my skin prep. So for that, for today, I'm gonna use this Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oils. I got this from BoxyCharm, and it's really good just for hydrating the skin. I already have my normal skincare, and I just want to drop a thicker, pink consistency, and then I'm just gonna rub this. I like this one because it doesn't make you overall greasy. Okay, so for my foundation, I use the MAC um, Studio Fix Foundation only because I already know how well this works on the skin and I'm kind of just sharing out the coverage. Now if you're Morena and you're wondering how to color match your skin because normally we do have, normally, no all the time, I wear a lot of like t-shirts so my chest is always not exposed so that's the lightest part of my skin but if you're Morena you notice that sometimes it, you're lighter in the center and kind of like darker on the perimeters of the face. Um, that's very normal. Um, that's very, very normal to have two tones. So you sometimes um, you have to compromise. You have to find a happy medium between that. And for me personally, that's by putting bronzer to kind of like blend it with the rest of my body. Now, I do match the chest area. That's why I always go for a lighter foundation because I notice that when I match it on my neck, I look like I have a dark, dark head. And then if there's anything exposed here, it tends to look like I have a very, very dark foundation. So again, the fa the MAC Studio Fix foundation is more of a matte coverage and I'm going to show you how to bring that glow back. But because we use a very hydrating or illuminating primer, it's making it less, um, kind of like less 
matte and dry on the skin and I use a sponge to kind of like share it out. Now for the under eye, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath concealer. The concealer is not very important in this. Um, I just want to try this more because, well, I have it and yeah. I'm going to use this sponge. It's not dirty. It's just stained. This is by um, Luxie, I believe. I get another product that I got from BoxyCharm. So I went in and put kind of a Pat McGrath concealer and I'm not quite happy with the coverage. I'm going to go with my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. Now this is in the shade SX11. Um, this is really, really good. You just need a tiny bit amount of this. I'm just going to touch up where I can see more of that darkness, which is usually just right here. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than my foundation, but that's okay. I'm just going to do a dot of that Pat McGrath again here. Just a little bit. Guys, it's okay if the products aren't that I would say a full coverage off the bat. You can always layer. I know who we'll have time, but this is how you achieve like a good base is by being patient with it. Now I know this two formula quite well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set it a little bit. I'm gonna start with like sheer powder this is by um charlotte tilbury this is the flawless finish as you can see i hit pan on this because i really like this one i just need to get get a lighter shade now that we have the base we want the glow back so for that i'm gonna use this um becca all i could see is opal but i think it's that liquid thing that's in a pump i got this in a kit so yeah I like this one because it have a champagne undertone. So if you're a Morena like me, um, using a very cool tone. Highlighter will make you look really ashy. So again, be careful with that. Now, I'm strategically putting everything. Because again, we're making the look wearable. We're not going to use it for just a photo shoot. We're going to wear it throughout the day. So you want it to last all day. Now, I didn't set my the rest of my face. It's just that MAC foundation drives down to a powder finish. So I us usually, when I'm very, very oily, I have to set it with a powder. But right now, I don't. And I really like how it's looking. Now, highlighting does show imperfection really, really well. Um, for me, I'm going to be honest, I don't mind. I don't mind if my pores are like showing. I don't mind if my pores are showing. I feel like we grew up in a time where, you know, way back, Photoshop and airbrushing was a big thing. But now it's great all these younger people are really into showing your skin texture. It's very uncomfortable because we grew up with the thought of having a perfect skin. It's really the goal is. But realistically, you would see texture, you would see pores. As you mature, if it's genetic, there's going to be pores. Um, acne can be hormonal. I have hormonal acne. Um, skincare might work like right now it's working but sometimes it would just like stop without any reason at all just just would stop working okay so the picture that I've shown you doesn't have a lot of like contouring to it but we want to kind of like define our cheekbones a little bit because not everybody is a sculpted model. So I'm going to use this Fenty Matchstick. This is in the shade Mocha. Um, I have been using this a lot. And I actually really love this um, bronzer. I should do my brow first because it's driving me crazy. But I'm just going to put that right here. And because I haven't set my powder in, I can go with... Um, cream products but we're gonna head to brows now for the brows 
the model have like a lighter brow than her hair color so it's not as dark and the focus because the focus is on the lips so I want to mimic that um, and for that and she have like really bush bushy brows I have quite bushy brows but for that I'm gonna use the Dior show this is in the universal brown now this is like a lot lighter than my hair and I don't want my I don't want it to too light where it doesn't really get defined but this brow pencil is really really good now if you prefer Anastasia the shade that's comparable to this one is medium brown because it have kind of like that universal color just filling it naturally because I do have a full brow but I want it defined now we have the brows you can take it a notch higher I'm going to use my um, Surat Beauty um, brow something expressionist brow pomade it's hard to get this I saw this in Neiman's it's actually on sale right now well I shouldn't say that because I don't know when to upload this it's so hard to get this product now and there's nothing quite like this it's kind of like a con more convenient way than a soap brow I want to say okay so finally we have the base it's like looking really good and the brows um it's been 30 minutes already in real time so i'm gonna like jump ahead and do the eye now you can neutralize if you have um like pigmented eyes like i do you can neutralize that and i'm gonna do that i'm gonna use the kevin Aquan for that because the pat mcgrath would just make it more ashy so i'm gonna use this one okay so now that i kind of like condition my it's not perfect but it's my lids i'm going to use this um eyeshadow palette this is by zueva this is the aristo palette i got this from boxycharm again but because it have that kind of like warm pinks i don't know if the it's this one if the camera will pick it up this is a matte color here it have a pink undertone there and this one as well it looks kind of like reddish here but in picture it's actually more of like a pinky brown and the aristo palette i'm gonna first use the shade uh plutos i think that's how you pronounce it and i'm gonna use this moda brush i've been loving this brushes again i got it from boxycharm annoying but the thing with having a warmer here um undertone is you have to find warm pinks like this is a warm pink if I were to use like a cool tone pink like, let's say Huda Beauty um, New Nude I didn't buy that because it is a very cool undertone it's gonna turn gray on me than pink so I'm just gonna put that all over the lid now for the blush, I have been looking for like a pink a blush. The reason why I'm jumping to blush because I'm gonna use it on the eye as well. Um, oops. First palette that I got is this Lancome palette. Now this is a limited edition from the holidays, if I'm not mistaken, and or a purchase with a purchase. And the shade here, the sheer amorose, is really really good for like kind of like a warm pink. Now there's also Dior um, Rosy Glow which looks like this but it actually reacts to your skin um for again if you're more of a morena skin you want something with a lot of warmth in it so for that because i want to keep it kind of like neutral on the eye i'm going to use the sheer amorose from sheer amorose from lancome and it looks like that i'm just going to dab the same brush and then i'm just going to put it right here kind of like a kiss right there just on the top crease because I wanted to just kiss it um, I don't want it like a full full color so we're gonna use the shade in the ground which is this pinky brown undertone and I'm just gonna use a smaller brush I use this uh, Morphe M506 I love this brush And I'm just gonna use just a little bit of that right here. 
and I'm just doing like a very sheer application, not a lot, but because of my eye shape, I need that. I need the depth again, pulling it up. Then with a flat brush, I'm just gonna use Plotus again, the first shade, and just put that all over the crease. Oh, all, all over the lid. Um, I kind of want to deepen the lash line a little bit more. And I'm gonna use this Dior number 24 brush. This is amazing for kind of like that liner look. I'm gonna mix Plotus in this shade, oh sorry, in the shade in the ground in natural naturalistic. I'm just gonna push that on my, mix it on the back of my hand. Okay, so we're gonna leave the eyes and we're gonna jump on the bronzer. Now for my bronzer, again, the, the picture there doesn't have a lot of like contour or bronzer. So I'm just gonna go a little bit lighter on the bronzer. Now this is the Dior bronzer in the shade 04. I love using this for multiple skin. I use this for me, like my Morena skin, if I want like a light contour. I just like swirl everything together. And I use this for fairer skin. Now that I have all of that like bronzer, I'm not happy on how it, the pink looks. So I'm just going to go with a coral blush like this. And I'm just going to go back just a little bit to make it a little bit more pink. Again, kissing the top. Letting that blush kiss your crease makes, makes it look more awake. I'm just blending everything. Okay, now I'm happier. This looks more pink because it's more warmer. Don't be afraid to like go back because that's... Now for kind of like that rosy pink blush. I personally like, like I said, the Lancome Sheer Amorose is like a beautiful pinky glow. And her blush is very kind of like, boom, your face. So for that, actually, I'm going to use um, the highlighter in this little palette. This is the Sparkling Peach. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is available as a single. And that's what I'm going to use. For my blush so first i'm going to start with sheer amorose then add sparkling peach on top so let's do that i'm just using the same brush just the wayne gauze um cheek brush so i'm just gonna do that then to intensify that that blush because in the picture she have like this strip of glow on her skin i'm gonna actually gonna use a flat sh flat foundation brush this is by dior and i am going to use the shade sparkling peach on this like little palette again this i believe are available individually so if you just want one product that is a lot of blush <laughs> i'm just gonna add it right there and it's gonna give me a nice shimmer balance everything out I'm gonna use this kind of like peachy um, highlighter so this never mind this is not peach this is not a highlighter this is actually a blush called um, blushing tresor like this one it have like some shift to it I love that and then I'm gonna use the highlighting here which is peach now that I know for sure is available and I will show you, I'm going to use a MAC 240 brush and I'm just going to turn my head and place it right here. Just right there. Because I have a lot of texture so I have to be careful with highlighter. And I can see my texture already with piling that highlighter but I'm 100% okay with that. I'm going to put that on my nose the inner corner brows 
And then the most important in the picture, it seems like she has like a blush. So I'm just like, oh, a highlighter in the center of the lid. So I'm going to mix this too. I'm just going to pop that in the very center and then blending out. And then I'm going to use the shade Groundwork and use that on, mix with a little bit of Lotus and mix it right there. Bottle have kind of like a flare eye lash and I, I don't like using false lashes, okay? So I'm just going to use this curler for my mascara. Today I'm still using the Lash Princess mascara from by Essence. It's so cheap. Also in the picture they didn't tightline, so I'm not gonna do tightlining at all. Okay, for the bottom lash there's not much, so I'm just gonna use a Dior mascara. Just just a little bit. Because I feel naked without it. Then I'm going to use this uh, highlighting duo pencil by Anastasia. This is actually for your brows, but it's cream, so I'm going to use it for my eyes. So I'm just going to use this Morphe E43 brush, and I'm just going to I'm gonna bring that to my brow bone as well because of this product, if you haven't tried any of the Anastasia highlighting products, it's so good. Okay, so now we're done with the eye. I am so excited because my back hurts. It's like, mm. Now the start of the show, which is the lips. So for today, we are going to use this little baby. This is like a deluxe sample, but this is the Fenty Beauty in the shade Candy Venom. Now, this is gorgeous. Um, I'm just going to go straight from the bullet to my lips. I love this formula. So yeah, I think we're done. We've recreated the Patrick Ta um, blushy girl. I don't know what to call her, but we recreated it. We recreated the Patrick Ta um, monochromatic pink look for Morena girls. So here's the final look. So thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, this will be available on IG if you guys don't want to watch the whole thing. But if you got through, thank you so much for watching the whole video. Again, beauty had a standard and we're just going to break that, okay? The standard for beauty is being you. Let's just do that now. And... I appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos. I'll see you on the next one. And I have to redo the lip part because I completely forgot to pause for Instagram. So have a great week. Bye.